work in the component shop. My main duties are to break down components that have come off of the train, clean them up, and rebuild with new parts, good used parts, um, build them and then send them back out to be used on the train again. The company I work for is a um, sanitation company. They do street sweeping. Basically, we pick up all the heavy debris, all the fine debris, and just have to dispose of everything, clean everything up. The train come in, and we will actually drop a large section of the train, which is the truck, take it off on, and set it on the floor, and we disassemble and repair or replace whatever the problem is and um, physically put it back up on the train. I'm like the first person that comes in in the morning, and I'm, my, part of my duties is to buff the floor. And little things that go wrong around the hotel, like the balance in the window might need repairing, toilet main flush pumps might need to be repaired, and we do cleaning and just minor repairs throughout the hotel. I have my own truck, and I lease it to the company. I work for a company that um, holds our liquid, hot asphalt, and um, Heating oil, jet fuel. My job consists of dealing with folks who have piracy cable, illegal cable. We go in and disconnect and warn the customer about possibly being convicted for a felony for stealing cable. I not only repair computers, I repair printers, plotters, any equipment that my company manufactures. You not only repair them, you install them, you configure them, you load software, you do whatever the customer needs to get his shopping operation. We literally pull the trucks from the train, and at that time we perform all different tasks on the truck itself. Uh, motors, grease, oil. I'm self-employed. I had been working for um, another man and he went out of the business and so I made a decision whether to work for somebody else or work for myself so I chose to open my own. With this job and closing a sun porch is like the first week I was um, supporting the structure taking out the joists and then um, next week I was studying out walls, running cable, um, fiberglass insulation, leveling the floor, hanging sheetrock, painting, installing windows. Um, so it's a whole mishmash of things. I am changing from incandescent lighting to uh, fluorescent lighting, okay? That's where, it's, where it would use less energy. It gives off the same amount of light, but it uses less, less wattage. It's not something that just any woman can do. However, once you decide that this is what you want to do, I don't think there's anything out there that can hold you back. When I was uh, informed that there was training being offered to women in the non-traditional field, it was just like an answer to a prayer that maybe I wasn't even aware of. When I started, my daughter was about four years old. 
1975. After being in the field about four, five years, I purchased a condemned home and we worked on it. We did uh, the electrical work, the plumbing work, the carpentry work, of course with assistance from my co-workers and other people that were in the field. And so it was really very rewarding and a lot of fun. Physically, there are always tricks to the trade. And there was always equipment on every job I've ever went on to help move weights of all sizes. And so I learned very rapidly that you're never expected to lift more than what you're able to lift. I never felt that my identity and being feminine was threatened. Even when it came to wearing hard hats, I thought that they were always prettier in pink. 